So we're back and it's been a while since I've actually thrown a disc and it's been even longer since I filmed a video. Today, I want to make a video on my backhand. I know it's been requested, not necessarily just distance, but also just control and the fundamentals of it. And hopefully you find it useful. Old Z drone, Let's see how this flies. Oh, that's super stable. I haven't thrown that in so long. That's gonna be a really nice flyer. All right, so the first step of the backhand is obviously getting the grip down. Really grip is all about preference and what works best for you. I like to do the your typical power grip and a thumb placement right there on top. Probably the most common grip, obviously there's different grips like you have like that, which is a modified fan, kind of like a putting type fan grip and you know so on. There's some people that even grip it with like two fingers, but I recommend getting all four under there just for more control. Man. For me, obviously, or for literally everyone that plays disc golf almost, is the X step. So what exactly is that? I suck at explaining things, but here you go. Nice. Something like that. Obviously, people just run up super far. Some people like to short it down, but that step is in literally everyone's run up. So once you get the X step down and your grip down, obviously, that's when you just kind of continue to practice it. And obviously there's gonna be little tweaks that you won't have to make, like your timing might be off, which what that is, is something might be off in your form. Like let's say you're rotating your hips too early or you're not actually engaging it at all. So on that throw, what I did is that I made sure that as I planted, I engaged my hips really good. So that way that it's kind of, obviously it gives more power, but I also say it gives more control too, because it helps with your alignment and getting the disc out where you're pointing it to. So that was a hyzer angle. I want to throw a little ante real quick too. Now throwing flatter shots or even ante shots, it actually requires for you to stand up more on your form. Getting your whole body engaged is much easier on a hyzer than it is getting it flat or any. You can still get your hips engaged pretty good as long as you, you know, be smooth about it. The one thing about a backhand when you're learning it is to always work on one thing at a time because I feel like if you work on multiple different things at the same exact time, you'll start to mess up a little bit because you're just rushing the process. And that's when you start seeing flawed results and even making bad habits. Well, let's say if you just like, work on one thing for a certain amount of time and then work on the next thing, that's when you start seeing better results. I would try to throw this in with a forehand, but it's the backhand video, so I got the one with the backhand. Oh, if I just got it like 100 feet higher, I feel like I would have given it a chance. There you go. Go in. Ah, uh, washed up. So that's the basics of a backhand, you know, getting the fundamentals down, that's really important. However, I do want to go over one more thing, which is distance. This is probably the hardest part because not everyone can throw 500 feet. You underestimate my power. I'm sorry, but it's true. You sit on a throne of lies. That's because of their age, their health, and you know, just a lot of variables that can influence the fact that you know some people can't throw as far as others, but that is okay. You can still throw far. So I'm here to teach you that. How I was saying earlier about your hip engagement. That is one of the most important parts of distance because that a lot of your power. Okay. So a lot of people rely on their upper body, but in reality for getting distance, you have to rely more to your lower body. It's all in the hips. Yeah, it's all in the hips. But what's even greater than that is that getting all your body into the shot. So literally your lower, you know, calves, your core all the way up to your chest and your shoulders, literally your whole body into the shot. That's how you gain an extreme amount of distance. Watch this. That's a little flippy. It was a 500 feet, but that's pretty good. So what I did right there is that I actually ran up a little bit faster. That's for extra momentum. And right as I plant 
at the end of my X step, that's when I literally engage everything. So all the weight and power and energy that I'm transferred, I literally just smash it right in my plant foot and then just explode. Once you figure that out, you'll definitely be able to feel it and it's an awesome feeling. That's a little high. Still going. Not bad for not throwing a disc in a little while. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the backhand. I try keeping it as simple as possible. Obviously getting your grip down and the X step and your hip engagement, engaging your whole body. And of course that equals control and distance. So that's very valuable for a backhand. And hopefully these tips help you. Appreciate you guys watching. It's been a fun one. And uh, hopefully you like the new mic. It's a cool little spice up to the videos. And uh, yeah, see y'all in the next one. That's a little flippy. Wow, that's what I get for roasting those people, man. Saying you can't throw 500 feet, but dude, I didn't even get 450. Wash the sail. Every single day I feel the pressure. Diamonds in my eyes are no special.